Hi, Christine. Can you hear me okay? I can. Great. Nice when Good it morning. works. I'm sorry? I just said nice when it works. <laughs> All right. Um, just making sure I have my information correct, and then we will get started. Okay. Where are you guys doing these interviews from? Uh, New York. We're Soho area, I think. So nice. How's the weather there today? Um, you know, I haven't been out since uh, 4, 3, 5 <laughs> o'clock this morning, so I'm not sure, certain. I think it was supposed to be pretty nice. <laughs> something to ask. Yeah. yeah. I know how that goes. This is Christine from Park State Television, and the kids are back in school, and we are actually getting ready to think about the holiday season, and our calendars are filling up with lots of extracurricular activities, which makes it harder and harder to get that crucial quality family time. If we can even get one night a week where the family is all together for dinner, we call that a win. Join Mom on the Run, who has six kids, Colleen Burns, as she shows us how to make the most of family dinner time. Colleen will share how she creates nutritious meals without spending all day in the kitchen and how simple things like letting the family participate in the prep helps make mealtime more fun. So I have to admit, I'm really looking forward to this interview because I need some serious help. So what can we do to have dinner? <laughs> well, as you mentioned, with everything going on during the week, it is harder and harder to fit in that quality family time. And we know how important it is. And so um, we know how important it is to have that quality family time. And so I like to turn to my freezer on those nights that we are all together as a family because that's you know such rare time during those busy weeks that we have together. So turn to your freezer. It's okay because many frozen meals actually have fewer calories, fat, and sodium levels than the average homemade recipe. And they can serve as a great base for a balanced meal with a healthy side dish. So rather than spending the entire evening cooking a full meal from scratch, I can focus on spending that time with my family. So you're saving some time by getting something that's prepared, but you've got that time to save and have with your family, which is so important. Even pizza can be part of a nutritious, balanced meal with the right portions and a healthy side dish of fresh fruits or vegetables. So consider that as an option because pizza is about the easiest thing you can make and everyone loves it. I like DiGiorno's pepperoni crispy pan pizza because it comes in its own pan and the mozzarella melts over the edge to perfectly caramelize the crust while it bakes. I have about 20 minutes while it's cooking to round out the meal with those fresh fruits and vegetables we were talking about. So besides pizza, do you have some other freezer meals that you recommend? Well, absolutely. You can even make your own meals and put them in the freezer, right? I mean, during the weekend, you've got more time than during the week for most of us. That's a good time to make some meals. Um, choose some frozen foods. Uh, make some smart frozen cho food choices. Put those in the freezer. Have them at the ready for those nights that you are going to be busy. And then I like to have my family participate in making the meals themselves, interactive foods like a salad bar. We skip the bowl. I give the kids lettuce wraps. I have them help with chopping up vegetables. If we have any leftover vegetables, we can always use those for stir fry the next day. Fruit skewers are fun too. The kids can thread their favorite fruits onto a skewer. You can make a real easy light dip with honey and yogurt. And then those 20 minutes, you can talk about your day while you're filling your plates. Then sit down and watch, maybe watch Thursday night football, maybe play a board game. We talked about making smart choices with uh, frozen food, and that is so important because you don't want to feel guilty about saving time with food prep, but you want to make smart food choices. So I always make sure that I'm mindful of portion sizes. I read the nutrition labels, especially when you're having more decadent food like pizza. Always look at the ingredient list and check out the calories and the fat in each serving. I also prefer to choose frozen foods with no artificial ingredients. So make sure you know what you're getting, what you're serving your children. So do you have any tips for families who aren't all at home at one time? So for instance, you know, a few of us will be home and then we're off to a practice and then my older child will get home later from football. Like we're kind of sometimes always eating at different times, mm -hmm. which is kind of hard. Yeah, that is hard. And you don't, you're not getting that quality family time, unfortunately. But slow cookers work in that kind of situation where somebody can, or you know, a nice soup or something like that. And something as easy as a pizza, you could put in a couple throughout the evening. Uh, but no, that is that is a, a good point because sometimes we're not all home at the same time, but you can share the same meal. And slow cookers are a great way to do that. And I do a lot of prep, like I was mentioning, in, during the weekend. So if you're doing a lot of the chopping, cutting, um, that kind of prep in advance, then it is easier to throw together a meal um, when you're um, very busy. And that can even be uh, several times throughout the night. 
definitely some great tips. I think organization is, always seems to be the key. And planning ahead, would you agree with that? Oh, yeah. I make a menu for the week. I go to the grocery store once, so I know. And I do try to plan those uh, more labor-intensive meals for the nights that we have a little extra time because I do enjoy spending some time in the kitchen, especially if I can have the kids help and we can talk about why we're eating what we're eating, what the nutritional value is, that kind of thing. Um, so those nights I do spend a little more time making a uh, meal. But then those busier nights, that's when I save some frozen food or something else in there um, that we can make quickly. Uh, but then, yeah, everyone knows what to expect. You've already organized uh, the week. You know if you have to take something out of the freezer to thaw it out the night before, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think organization is key. Um, also, finding some good, easy recipes. A good place to go, nestleusa.com slash balance, nestleusa.com slash balance. They've got some great ways to incorporate frozen and fresh foods together so that they're easy but also nutritious for your family. Well, these are some great tips. I'm excited to utilize some of them in the kitchen and get my slow cooker back out. It's definitely that time of year. Yes. How old are your kids? You have six, I have to I ask. do. The youngest is 13. I'm getting kind of sad because he, he was always my little guy, and he's now he's 13, a big teenager. Um, our oldest is 24. So um, they're not all in the house anymore, but we still get together for big meals whenever possible. Yes, well, similar ages to my kids. Well, you are a busy mom, and it's fun to learn from your experiences for sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, and we will check out NestleUSA.com and find some fun recipes and get some pizza. I think that's great. a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.